the vault. Open the vault. Yeah. Seek the vault. Okay, what do we have? That's right. Um, so first up, you, well, I mean, it's your show. Uh, what is this? Uh, okay, so I put together El Porto. I'm sure this on Desk Lady Ada. It's an MCP 23017. This is a 16-channel I expanded for I squared Z. You know, it comes in dips, so you'd think, like, what's really the point of having a breakout? But a lot of people were like, no, I really want to have something that's Stemma, plug and play. We didn't. We get a couple requests for this more than I was expecting, and so by the third or fourth request, I was like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll whip together something to make it even easier to use this uh, very popular chip that we have drivers for already. All right, so this is, I've, when I filmed this, it was top secret, but now we have the product, so... You'll just get a, a view. This is like a little time travel -y Yeah, of, uh, behind the scenes. Yeah. Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, we're putting together some new boards. This is the IS31FL3741. It's a PWM LED RGB driver that can do a lot of LEDs. This is cool because it's much cheaper than individual dot stars or neopixels. Uh, so this is the prototype, which I hand assembled, and it's a little like wobbly. Uh, and this is the nice ones that just came off the pick and place, or a little toasty even. So let's try out our test code. Plug into our, our uh, Metro Mini. And, a moment. There you go. You can see a nice demo showing text and color gradients. We're also testing two RGB LEDs. These LEDs are only a penny a piece, but there's a slight variation. One's a little brighter than the other. Uh, but we're getting this ready to put in the shop. It's a cute little RGB LED matrix that's all powered and controlled over I squared C. Stemma QT. And uh, then I have uh, this demo. This is, if you saw the show and tell and what Trevor was working on, this is uh, basically that video. And this is our new app. It's in beta. It's in test flight. And it's called PyLeap. And the idea is we'll make putting code on a Bluetooth device as easy as we've had putting code on a circuit python device where it just shows up as a usb drive drag and drop but this is even easier where all you do is turn on your bluetooth device load this app you pair it and then what we have is uh, code that's on our learning system and you just choose what you want to do right now we're doing this in rainbows demo it takes the code from the learning system downloads it to the phone to the latest code and then it sends it bundle. right over to Beep, boop. the device and so that's how quick it is to get code on a, without a, without a computer, and that's this week's top secret. Okay, get back in that vault.